Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be going over the Orca 4.2.2 bomb for your AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and International Galaxy S3. Okay, so as I said, today I'm going to be going over the Orca ROM. I'm pretty sure lots of you have not heard of this ROM. Uh, let me start off by saying this is 4.2.2. And if you've heard of Serenity ROM, uh, there's Jelly Bean ROM, um, and some other ones, then you probably know who this developer is. Uh, this developer is Drew Guerin, and he made Serenity ROM, which was an awesome ROM. And he made this 4.2.2 ROM for um, a couple of Galaxy S3s, all of them actually, except for the Spring version, and some other devices too, like the Nexus 4, Nexus 7, Nexus 10. And um, they're nightlies. And basically what they are, are they're kind of a mix-up of a bunch of other ROMs. So if we go into Settings and About Phone, we can tell that it is Android 4.2.2. And you can see it says 3.0.63 kernel, so a little outdated. And Orca Nightly. This one was actually released yesterday. Yeah. So it was released yesterday. And it gives you a lot of a lot of settings. Uh, starting off, but one thing I really like that this ROM includes is it has its own wallpapers. If we go into Orca Wallpapers... You get a bunch of high quality wallpapers that look really nice. Like especially, I mean look at this. Looks like it's popping out of the screen. That was the first thing I noticed, the wallpapers, because they do really look cool. And for example, let's say we like this one, we could click set. Apply them quickly. And then you have the wallpaper, which looks really nice. If we go back into settings, let's get into some of the stuff that this comes with. So right here we have Orca settings. Basically this is ROM control all from AOKP. You get all the AOKP stuff. Uh, one thing that I did notice different is if you go into status bar toggle and hollow, you could change it to hollow light. And it looks like this, kind of this light hollow thing. I mean, it's pretty cool. For me, I kind of prefer the hollow dark one. So I'm just going to keep it like this, but that's also an awesome option to have. Um, you get some general UI settings here, the basic stuff. You could make tablet UI, but then you have to enable the nav bar. Uh, here, if we go back into status bar toggles, you could enable some more toggles, and then you could change the order. Basically, the basic ROM control stuff that you're used to. Um, if we go into lock screen... We could enable all widgets and have unlimited widgets and the widget carousel. So basically when you're in your lock screen, you get this nice widget carousel effect. And then we could add all our widgets here. Um, so basically you could go through bomb control, change your battery icon, all the stuff we're used to. Now if we go back, we have performance control, the Orca wallpapers some device options then we have ROM settings if we go here this is looks like some stuff from uh, Rootbox you get Pi controls here if you go through here you could enable them and choose the colors you could change LCD density low battery warning expanded desktop option hold back to kill CRT screen off animation we could enable that now, you could have a see-through lock screen some lock screen targets, screen security, the Kronos clock widget, uh, some headset options, you could change around the hardware keys, and some button actions. So that's what you get in ROM settings. Then we have ROM updates, which is Goo Manager, and it should tell you when there's an update for your device. And last but not least, we have DPI and tablet settings. If we go into here, module management, you're going to click install. Then you're going to reboot, and once you've rebooted, you're going to come back here, go to modules, check that, and go back here and reboot again. So pretty easy. And after that, you could go to each app and change the UI of it, kind of like on 
Paranoid Android. So if we go into email, we're going to click on. Then we could type in like 190. We're going to click save. Yes. Should save it. Now we're going to go back into email. And then we have this nice tablet UI where you have this. Uh, you could change it up if you want more to be tablet UI. And it looks pretty cool. So, um, otherwise, it's pretty basic 4.2.2 ROM. And I have to say this might be my favorite ROM since you do get so many options. Uh, so, really go check it out. I'll have the link down below. And I'll, I think I'll have a separate link for the gaps. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Also, hit like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.